What does it mean to store data in memory versus on disk? Let's imagine we're building Facebook. So we want the user to be able to log in. And when they're logged in, one of the first things that they should see is their news feed with all their friends status updates and photos and videos and even advertisement. And the way that the news feed works is that it has an algorithm which constantly updates and ranks posts based on user interactions. And this data about ranking order is often cached in memory so it can quickly serve more personalized content to users as they scroll through their feed during the session. So when we're talking about in memory, we mean that uh, certain data is held in RAM. This is the volatile memory of a computer system. And basically all this means is that it's temporary information. So when the system loses power or it's shut down, this data is lost. So it doesn't persist across system reboots. So in memory storage is important for handling things like real time interactions. And by loading things like the user's authentication tokens and preferences into memory, we can provide a much faster and much more pleasant user experience, which is tailored to that user's current session. Now, there are, of course, certain things that we would want to persist across sessions, even if the user reboots their machine. For example, in Facebook, one of the features of the search bar at the top is that before you start typing anything uh, and it starts giving you autocomplete suggestions, when it's still empty, it'll show a, a list of suggested profiles and groups based on your previous session data. So when the user turns on their machine and loads up Facebook, we still want to show them these suggestions on a new session. This means that the suggestions can't only live in memory or else they would have been erased the last time the user powered off their machine. So in order to persist them across sessions, they need to be permanently stored on disk. And this means it gets written to a persistent storage device like a hard disk drive or a solid state drive. And your machine, my machine, everybody's computer has one of these or maybe both. But when Facebook writes things like your browsing data preferences to disk, they aren't writing it to your computer. They're actually writing it to a disk based database like MySQL or Postgres, uh, which lives in some Facebook server warehouse somewhere. So here's a question. It seems to be that you could, in theory, just store all of your application data on disk, right? Like, why not just make everything persistent? Then you wouldn't run the risk of ever losing data, right? Well, it's all sort of dependent on what the average user's computer is capable of and, and what's really important. So computers have a CPU, the central processing unit. This is sort of like the brain of the computer. Anytime you basically do anything on the computer, it'll send a series of instructions to the CPU, which will go around and execute those instructions in various ways. And the CPU does have access to both data stored on disk and data stored in memory. However, accessing data stored on disk has several more steps than accessing data stored in memory. So in general, reading from memory will typically be much faster. So with this in mind, as engineers, we need to sort of section out, okay, like this feature absolutely needs to persist across sessions. So it needs to be stored on disk. This feature is only relevant during the user's current session. This feature is stored on disk, but it'll be more performant if we additionally load it into memory at the beginning of the browsing session and so on. We should get smart about looking at different software features on a case by case basis and determining what's the right implementation for each one.